Hello, beloved. My name is Pastor Mark Miracle. It's an awesome privilege to have you on the eighth episode of expository gospel moment. I believe you've been blessed by each of the episodes posted on this platform. I believe God is in this video clip to touch, to transform, and to shine light to your path. Of course, he says this word is a lamp unto our feet and a light to our path. He says, search the scripture, for in them ye think you have eternal life, and these are they which testify of me. I say this evening, I say this word of prayer for you, that this episode is going to bless you. It will lift you to a place of testimony in the name of Jesus. We are still on this episode, Life Lesson from Jonah, and I'm still talking about the subtitle, God Can Use You. God can still use you. God will still use you. Hear me? In Jonah chapter 2 verse 2, he said, I cried out to the Lord in my great trouble, and he answered me. I called to you from the land of the dead, and Lord, you heard me. Beloved, approach God with the mentality that he can never forsake you. Jonah approached God in from the belly of that fish. He approached God with the mentality that this is my father that I am talking about here. God is my father. He made me in my in his image. So I have that right to approach him and he has the responsibility to answer. I have the right. He has the responsibility. There is a right God has given to you. And if you don't stand up to that right, he will not respond to his own responsibilities. Approach God with the mentality that he can never forsake you. If your father owns the whole street, and paraventure you pack into that street, and you were not told that your father owned the street, Beloved, you'll be squatting around in the shades, in the corners of that street. Thereby forsaking in ignorance the wealth that your father had already given you. God has given you what you are looking for at the platter of gold. God has given you forgiveness at the platter of gold. God has given you prosperity at the platter of gold. God has given you answers to prayer fruitfulness, everything you can ever ask for, he has given it to you more abundantly. Everything you can ever ask for, he has given it to you. Beloved, there is a mentality you approach God with that you will never have an answer to your prayer. Approach him with a mentality that like you know he's your father. Look at Jonah who has long disobeyed God. Look at Jonah who has boarded a, a ship that is taking him elsewhere. Look at Jonah that was in the belly of a way. He still approached God. Look at verse 2. He says, he said, I cried out to the Lord in my great trouble and he answered me. I called to you from the land of the dead and Lord you heard me. He called like he knew that God will hear him. If he knew that God will never hear, he wouldn't have called. But he had this assurance in him that God will answer. A songwriter wrote this song, our beloved Priyo Odede. He says, whenever I call you, you hear me and you answer me. Beloved, I don't know what you are passing through. This episode is for you. Bow down your heads in prayer and, and call out to him like a son, like a daughter, like one who has a right. He has a responsibility to answer to you. The next thing I want you to pick from this episode is in Jonah chapter 2 verse 7. It says, As my life was slipping away, I remember the Lord and my earnest prayer went out to you in your holy temple. A prayer made in the lowest part of the earth. Verse 2 says he called to him from the land of the dead. That is the deepest prayer part of this world, the deepest part of the ocean, he said his prayer went to his holy temple. Beloved, hear me, no matter how far you think you have gone from God, he can still hear you. No matter how far you are banked on your educational qualification and you have told yourself the truth and returning back to his mighty power, he will still hearken to you. Those who run out of him sink in life. Make God your all in all, despite how far you have gone away from him. Those who remember God can't be forgotten in haste. 
Despite how far you think you have fallen into trouble, remember him. Despite how deep you have fallen into the troubles of life, remember God. Despite how far Satan has snatched you from him, remember him. He is all out waiting for you to call out to him. The next thing I will want you to pick from this episode is in Jonah chapter 2 verse 8 to 9. Those who worship false gods turn their backs on all God's mercies, but I will offer sacrifices to you with songs of praise and I will fulfill my vows for my salvation comes from the Lord alone. Anything that separates you from God has become a God to you. And you can't succeed or have a lasting success outside of God because of your job because of wife, because of husband, because of career, you are no longer consistent with your sacrifice, with your worship with God. These things have become a God to you. There is Jonah saying, I will fulfill my sacrifice. Before you got married, you told God, if you can give me a husband. Before you got a child, you told God, if, if you can give me a child. Before you got a job, you told God, if, I, if, if you can give me a job, if you can promote me. After the miracle came, what is your stand with him? Are these miracles becoming a marriage? Are they taking you away from God? Anything that stands in between you and God has become a God to you. Job said, I will fulfill my vow. Hence the fish vomited him. As you go back to the drawing board, as you go back to the vows and sacrifice and the things you promised God, I pray in the name of Jesus that whatever will have swallowed your wealth, whatever will have swallowed your health, whatever will have swallowed your happiness, whatever will have swallowed your joy, they vomit them all this moment in the name of Jesus. I believe this episode has blessed you. I wouldn't leave you, I wouldn't draw the curtain without leading you to Jesus who died and resurrected on the dead day. Therefore, say this prayer with me, beloved. Lord Jesus, I love you. Forgive my sinful ways. I will serve you all the days of my life. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. God bless you, Rico. See you in the next episode. We believe you were blessed with today's episode of Expository Gospel Moment. For prayers, testimonies, or further inquiries, you can reach Mac Miracle on plus 234-812-328-8593. That is plus 234-812-328-8593. 8593. God bless you real good.